Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, the Let's Play, the movie, the Let's Play. The Let's Play. Um, this is some type of artist, and uh, the artist formerly known as Chris. And now Hello. it's time for the dark side of the story. A man breaking into a government facility. Why are they taking such a serious tone for a kid's game? <laughs> <laughs> Why are all these red lights flashing? This isn't child-friendly. Look! Look at that explosion effect in After Effects. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Just like, I, I would love if there was like normal soldiers like shooting at him and like one guy gets hit and he's just like, no, I was no, two days away from retirement. No, no, that would move us into the T rating and... We all know what happens when Sonic goes into the T rating. It's true. Well, actually, was Shadow rated T? Yes. Or was it... Oh, wait, no, it might have been the first game rated E10. I don't think it was the first, but... yeah. E but one of the first when e they, e they introduced that ranking, yeah. E10, what a rating. What a... Yeah. But, uh... Rated E10 for comic mischief and violence. Yeah. But anyway, here's Dr. Eggman, and this is the first time we can play as him in a Sonic game, except for Sonic Drift, but we don't count that. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I guess that Game Gear game, huh? Have you ever played and, that? And Sonic, or, I have not played Sonic Drift, and nothing about what I've seen of Sonic Drift makes me want to touch it. But yeah, I will try it out if it's something available to me, just for the sake <laughs> of trying it out. Cause I don't know. Yeah. I, I didn't think I would like Super Mario Kart, and I actually ended up liking it a lot. So <laughs> who knows? I just yeah. kind of feel like those um, kind of early kart racers on hardware like that just never seemed to. I don't know. It never felt like it was gonna work out so well, you know. G but. Game Gear is a uh, it's a very niche system. That you kind of have to have nostalgia to enjoy that because I think if you handed like somebody a Game Gear, they'd be like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I never really had a desire for a Game Gear, and uh, from what I hear, it it was not very practical. Like, what was it? Yeah. Six AA batteries, and you got like a few hours six. out of it. Yeah, six AA batteries for three to two hours, I believe. Oh, yeah, that was cool. I, I was going to be the kid that just sat in the corner by an outlet that was plugged into the wall, playing it. <laughs> That's what modern <laughs> kids do now, though, because you're, you're a young kid, you know? You I am, get that, I'm very that charge young. for your phone while you're playing playing Fortnite. Or, uh, yeah, Fortnite. Chris, That's a big game. Chris, I am a gaming PC. I, I, play, gaming PC. I play Fortnite on the gaming PC. I use my phone for selfies and Instagram. It's pretty epic. It is epic. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny, like, I, 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 I say that kind of ironically, but, like, that time I generally meant it. <laughs> oh, no, Chris, there's, there's nothing epic about Instagram. <laughs> Uh, I'm embarrassed now. So, Dr. Eggman. Yes, uh, you can call me that if you want to. Okay. But that is probably my my most realistic life goal, just just to be Dr. <laughs> Eggman, to be an insane so, old man that appa apparently has all the resources he needs to do whatever the hell kind of mad scientist thing he wants, and is somehow yeah. available to uh, never get caught by the police or anything. He's a trust fund kid. His, his grandfather made a space colony. I am the best. I am the best. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got an A rank. I get all the A ranks. Didn't you see all Pretty the, good. the things I did? You, you did get a lot of points. Oh, man. Level 7. Man, he's just like, I gotta hack into this. Yeah. He's like crouch. Oh, ho! When he says that, doesn't he sound like that? Um, 
Who is it? The Ho Ho guy from Wind Waker. That's always looking through the telescope off at a different island. He's like, Ho! Oh. <laughs> I guess? I don't know. I. I, I want to say it's been a while since I played Wind Waker, but it's not. But like, it's been a while since I've gotten far in Wind Waker. I guess is yeah, the best you, way you, to you, describe it. I feel like you've started Wind Waker many, many times and just kind of I have either got bored of it or whatever, whatever feeling you wanted to get from it, you got and you moved yeah. on to something else. Oh my god! Can you hear all that by any chance? I can't there, hear. I can there, only hear. There's like a ridiculous amount of like sirens and whatever going on outside my apartment. So. Oh, I can kind of hear it now. Yeah, but... I don't know what's going on because my apartment faces the back, but. You know, it's it's actually something... perfect because it's like there there's police outside of the gun facility that was just broken into. Yeah. Maybe Shadow can help. Is, uh... Whoa. Holy crap, that is very loud. <laughs> um, I might be a little distracted right now. That's but, okay. Oh man, Shadow just got released from his Pokeball. <laughs> Do you think Shadow would be a dark type Pokemon? <laughs> Maybe he'd be, he'd be dark and psychic or dark and steel. Why steel? I don't know, because he's got like rollerblades. Oh. Okay. I thought he had so he's got... too. Well, he I guess he probably does, yeah, but look at me just losing all my rings. I really I really <laughs> play it close to the edge, you know? Because that's what I am. Is this the I'm one where Oh no, I think boy. I'm getting confused. I was like I was like, is this the one where you have to like climb on the wall? And I'm like, I think that's the one for Rouge, right? Of course, yeah, or, that's the one for yeah. Shadow can't climb walls. <laughs> okay. He can only climb... I, I don't know, he, I thought Shadow like, is, there's like a thing you stand Shadow on can't of. climb walls, he can only climb to the top of the Golden Gate Bridge. It's true. <laughs> he just like starts up there. I promise you, revengeance. And then, then cut in some kind of Metal Gear Rising music. <laughs> I don't know, when he's standing on top of the Golden Gate Bridge, he's just like, let me just, let me just stand up here for a while and look damn good. <laughs> I don't know. That's, he makes a weird face when he's on top of that bridge. <laughs> it's like, I, there's like a few times in this where Shadow's mouth is just like way too far to the side of his actual face. And just the angle yeah. that he's shot at is just... <laughs> oh snap, you beat him. Now, yeah. it, you play another Eggman level after this, right? No, you play Rouge. Oh, you do play Rouge. Okay. Yeah, but then you play another Eggman level after that. Right, as your Shadow, Shadow only has like four levels. <laughs> yeah, that's... He's so hyped up too, I remember, when this bummer. game came out. They were like, look at Shadow! He's like Sonic, except cooler. You know, and Sonic's pretty cool, so like Shadow's like... <laughs> so cool that you're not even gonna know what to do with yourselves because of all the coolness you know it's weird because like it is shadow's debut game and he is a big deal in the game you'd think they'd give him more levels like rouge has yeah. more levels than Sh well i don't know maybe she doesn't i don't think so i think she only has like four levels as well um Man. there's dry Lagoon. The scene. there's um there's the egg chamber. There's the the facility level. I, I don't. I, oh God, I don't know the level names. <laughs> there's someone that. There's someone that. On knuckles. Oh, is it on? So him? much flare. Is it on? Him? Yeah. Look at all the flare he's got. Oh man. Well, Eggman's egg. mouth. Oh, it is on him. Yeah. Oh. I. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> like, I know in the hero side story, the hero characters will be wearing the stuff you found, but I always thought the opposing team didn't. What was that all about? And huh. What Man. Like, Sha <laughs> Knuckles just goes, like, completely limp when she, like, grabs him. He's just, like, for a second when he broke the Chaos Emerald, he was just like, 
what's the point of any of this? I don't know. Do I really have to do this again? I, I don't know why Knuckles would go limp when Bruce grabbed him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wow. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Dry Lagoon. So, um, this level always... Okay. This level stands out to me in my memories a lot because, um, I don't know why I was playing this particular level at the time, but it was, um, it was June of that year, and it was, um, the night of my middle school graduation. And, or maybe it wasn't, but it was around that time, because, um, I was playing this level, and my parents called me into the other room, and that's when they gave me my graduation present, and that was the Neon Genesis Evangelion box set. So, which was, I thought, was very generous, because at the time it was like $180 for all those DVDs. But yeah. I guess it was because it was a graduation present that it was, like, more special, but... And I, I've never really mentioned it too much on the channel, but Negan Genesis Evangelion has been a huge influence in my life for a pretty long time. Um, but this level always makes me think about that. Huh. That is all. Well, I, nice. I just I just had to share a particular memory because it's <laughs> what I like to do. But you don't like this level. You just no, said, I said you don't like it. I remember you complaining about it. You're like, oh, I hate oh, the stupid yeah. music in this level because of the lady, like, like moaning in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I've, I've, gr I've grown to... remember things, like you said to me, when we were playing this game one time. I've, like, grown, I've grown to really like this level, though. Yeah. Actually. You got um, that other uh, piece of the Master Emerald for free without using the radar. I know. It's like I used my eyeballs to uh, play the game. Pretty epic. Um, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's because I've I've have more appreciation for it just because of all of the unpleasantries in Rouge's other levels. And uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like the the jungle stuff here, and I've I've grown more appreciative of Rouge's music as the years have gone by than I used to. I used to not like it at all, but um, hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm mellowing out on it more. It's still not my favorite music in the game. I do think her stage is kind of. I don't know. It's like time to go to my uh, sweet ass I Egyptian just, hideout. I just noticed something interesting, and I don't is know that... if we can do a good look at it. But those statues. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> good job remembering you don't have the hover. <laughs> um. <laughs> Those statues directly in front of us, when they did a sweep over the level in that intro video, uh, were those echidnas? Oh, that's a good question. Because I'm used to all the Eggman statues in the pyramid, but I don't think I've really paid attention until just now. Were, weren't echidnas more like, Look at like them. Aztec looking, though? I think those are just like, you know, Egyptian, like, Things wearing pharaoh, but they've, like, but they've got the knuckles crowns. dreadlocks on them. Do they? I thought that was just part of the like pharaoh headdress thing I don't know. in ancient Egypt. I don't know. But that that would be interesting if that's a thing. That and would it, be a nice attention to detail. And honestly. because the desert area is where knuckles started off with the master emerald, it, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it, it would that would be really cool. Why it's there and not on Angel Island? Game theory. Like that that is still is like the, the number Echidna's one. Is in Egypt? Oh my god. It, it is still <laughs> that is something I really wish happens in the Sonic Adventure 2 remaster remake. They they give some kind of context to why Knuckles is, starts off where he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last echidna. Do you, do you think Knuckles and Tikal would have hooked up if they both lived in the same time? Maybe. I don't know. That's the kind of deviant art fanfiction I need to read. Man. <laughs> Knuckles would totally be like, do you know the way? <laughs> and then Tikal would be, the servers are... The <laughs> <laughs> Be like, stick your five dicks into me, you a kidness son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Because, you know, that's the thing with those animals. Oh boy. Yeah. I, I, just, I just didn't know you knew. <laughs> I was holding it I was, back. I, was I thought not, you could yeah, maybe I, go for it. That, but that, I was like, that nope, was a, I guess that, I'm saying it. That was a joke I thought maybe I was going to make. <laughs> not expecting it from you. <laughs> uh... Ouch! Have my right lines. <laughs> Man. Um, so like, Eggman's like, I have to go to my secret base. Who put all these gun flags here? <laughs> it's like they'll never find my base inside this pyramid, and they're like all yeah. outside, parked, looking for them. No, he's like, he's like, they'll never find my secret base, and it's like a giant like sphinx with Eggman's face that like is like speaking. He's just like, the Eggman base is now open. <laughs> I mean, he does model things after his face. How did they know it was me? <laughs> just like a giant, like, Eggman. Oh, I'm gonna have to sneak back into the base. Cause they're all here. <laughs> you have to get past Gun. Go into the base. Get my Metal Gear. Yeah. Metal Gear Man, Egg. That would be funny if... That would be funny if Eggman had, like, a codex to talk to, like, uh, Shadow and Rouge during their missions. He does! Well, I guess he sort of does, but, like, it doesn't, like, stop the game. Oh, yeah. You, you want Eggman to stop what he's doing and crouch down and press his finger yeah. in his ear. I want him to, like, tell them, like, stupid, dumbass stuff, like the Colonel tells Snake sometimes. Oh, man. That would be great. <laughs> except, Shadow. Like, except since it's, like, Eggman, it's, like, it's like even, like, dumber stuff about, like, his, like, struggles with, like, stuff you would expect him. Like, he's just like, you know, I joined Weight Watchers again, and, you know, they say it's this many points as an apple, but I don't believe that because scientifically, an apple has this much sugar in it, and I'm like... How can an apple only be two points? That makes no sense. Dumb stuff like that, you know? Shadow, I have a random question for you. What is it, Doctor? What's it like to be naked all the time? Excuse me? <laughs> it's just, you know, all the boys in my life, they never wear any clothes. Just gloves and shoes. I was wondering, would I be happier if I just wore gloves and my boots and that was it? Don't call oh, me man. on this line again, Doctor. <laughs> and then the next time Shadow shows up, he's just wearing a pair of jeans. <laughs> yeah, and Eggman dresses like that, and just like, just like, it's like, he's like, Hello, Tails, I have a tail, too. <laughs> have you ever seen Eggman's feet? No. They show up in one of those um, Mario and Sonic games. Really? Why, why is he, like, barefoot? Because he's in a swimming race. Oh, okay. Are they, like, gross? No, uh, they're weird. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, like, they have, like, so many corns on them and stuff. And it's it, like, oh, why'd they do this? It's one of those... so weird. It's one of those huge, bulbousy looking feet that you would think people drew just to guess what would be under it. Hmm. Eggman's looking into the future, or I guess he's just watching TV, and he's just like, How did Shadow get to San Francisco? Here he is, he's just, you know. How pathetic. Here he is, guys. How pathetic. Oh, man. And now he's having his, his post-traumatic stress memories. Right. From the time, Maria. From the time that the gun commander shot Maria. After after he and and the gun commander were playing with Maria, and, the, and then the gun commander found out what, what Black Doom was doing, and he made that amazing face. <laughs> <laughs> and then she shoots his shadow into space. Yeah. And then I guess the military caught him. He's like Maria. Man. I guess so. That was I such a popular I... name in like 2000. I remember. What, Shadow? No, Maria, and like a bunch of like RPG games and stuff. Like, I think like there was like what? a Maria and like Wild Arms, and like Maria and Star Ocean, and like some other games too that I just can't remember off the top of my head. Hmm. 
I I don't know. That was like the it. Maybe. Maria, I, I guess this is another kind of memory because around the time I got this game, I started listening to more music, and I guess Green Day was the first actual socially approved band I started listening to. Man, Green Day, that's a grandpa bang. No, I shut up. you're it's... not really down with the kids like you say you are. Shut up, it's it's totally relevant nowadays. But anyway, so totally the, so I bought um I bought an album by them. I bought International Super Hits and that was like a compilation of a bunch of different songs from different albums, except for the first two. The first two were unique to that one and the first one's was named Maria and I don't know. I always think about that song a lot huh. when I think of 8th grade and the different memories I had playing this game back then. Mm. Still one of my favorite songs by them. But yeah, you yeah. know, I I, I, I I like a lot of modern bands, you know? like They're, 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 they're okay, but they're no Linkin Park. They're, they're no... Uh, I mean, you know, TikTok, am I right? TikTok, <laughs> that Chinese app that spies on you, possibly. I, I, I haven't not I, say that. I haven't heard of that. <laughs> I, I, huh? That's, is that a thing? It is a thing. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't even know if it's a band or a thing people are doing on Instagram. It's like it's like Vine, except it it's spies on you. Oh, okay. Possibly. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> I, every time I hear TikTok, I just think of that one song by um. By Kesha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. There's, so there's a apps. name. You know, get it? I'm young. Kesha. Am I right? You're hip. You're like... You're totally not at all like <laughs> Principal Skinner from, like, The Simpsons. <laughs> Up yours, children. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I keep thinking about every time we say stuff like this. <laughs> Chris, you're gonna have to excuse me. I need to go to the kitchen and get more orange drink. Man, <laughs> how great is the Steam Hams episode? <laughs> just awesome. love how there's so many parodies of it now. Yeah, I, it's I, amazing. I, I, I like the Steam Tam things, but my favorite thing with Skinner, I think, is always gonna be. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think it was. Um, it was a more recent episode, believe it or not, too. When um, got rings. They were. I never noticed that blend. Oh yeah, there's a lot of fun little billboards behind everything. But when um, the episode where Homer and Bart team up with a bunch of people to write a book, and he gets Skinner on board, and Homer's like, "Think of all the money you'll make. Maybe you can finally move out of your house." And then Skinner's just like, "And then there'll be my magnets on the refrigerator." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, so funny. Oh man, yeah. God, I, oh, I really want to watch some old Simpsons episodes now. <laughs> yeah, man, you're doing really good on the Dark Side playthrough. Thanks, man. I know. You've gotten mostly A's and B's. Yeah. You've only got one B so far. Oh man. So I'm just like, Brrr. oh, here we go. Oh man, here he comes. A jewel containing the ultimate Can't hear what he's saying, the music's so loud. Yeah. Also, where'd he get the emerald? He, he found it in his secret compartment. Yeah, but like, wouldn't have this been a good opportunity in the Dark Side story to show where he got the emerald for and why he had it in Sonic's? It's like, these these are just small little details I kind of wish they'd tie together in, <laughs> in the remaster that they are they are definitely working on for next year's release. <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. I prefer them to just make a new Sonic game. But I, I would love them to make a new Sonic game. The, but the remasters are all the rage at the moment, so... I don't think they're going to. It's a 50-50 chance. It's kind of like a 100% chance, but, you know. I'll trust my gut instinct, and you can trust your verified sources. <laughs> And we'll see who's there right at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's the end of the episode. <laughs> I'm going to go get some orange drink and steamed hams. All right. Bye. <laughs>